BERT, Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers, is a recent paper published by researchers at Google AI Language. It has caused a stir in the machine learning community by presenting state-of-the-art results in a wide variety of NLP tasks, including question answering, squad version 1.1, natural language inference, MNLI, and others. BERT's key technical innovation is applying the bidirectional training of Transformer, a popular attention model, to language modeling. This is in contrast to previous efforts which looked at a text sequence either from left to right or combined left to right and right to left training. The paper's results show that a language model which is bidirectionally trained can have a deeper sense of language context and flow than single-direction language models. In the paper, the researchers detail a novel technique named masked LM, MLM, which allows bidirectional training in models in which it was previously impossible. BERT makes use of Transformer, an attention mechanism that learns contextual relations between words or subwords in a text. In its vanilla form, Transformer includes two separate mechanisms, an encoder that reads the text input and a decoder that produces a prediction for the task. Since BERT's goal is to generate a language model, only the encoder mechanism is necessary. The detailed workings of Transformer are described in a paper by Google. As opposed to directional models, which read the text input sequentially, left to right or right to left, the transformer encoder reads the entire sequence of words at once. Therefore, it is considered bidirectional, though it would be more accurate to say that it's non-directional. This characteristic allows the model to learn the context of a word based on all of its surroundings, left and right of the word. Before feeding word sequences into BERT, 15% of the words in each sequence are replaced with a mask token. The model then attempts to predict the original value of the masked words based on the context provided by the other non-masked words in the sequence. In technical terms, the prediction of the output words requires 1. Adding a classification layer on top of the encoder output. 2. Multiplying the output vectors by the embedding matrix transforming them into the vocabulary dimension. 3. Calculating the probability of each word in the vocabulary with softmax. The BERT loss function takes into consideration only the prediction of the masked values and ignores the prediction of the non-masked words. As a consequence, the model converges slower than directional models, a characteristic which is offset by its increased context awareness. How to predict the next sentence? In the BERT training process, the model receives pairs of sentences as input and learns to predict if the second sentence in the pair is the subsequent sentence in the original document. During training, 50% of the inputs are a pair in which the second sentence is the subsequent sentence in the original document, while in the other 50% a random sentence from the corpus is chosen as the second sentence. The assumption is that the random sentence will be disconnected from the first sentence. To help the model distinguish between the two sentences in training, the input is processed in the following way before entering the model. 1. A. CLS token is inserted at the beginning of the first sentence and A. SEP token is inserted at the end of each sentence. 2. A sentence embedding indicating sentence A or sentence B is added to each token. Sentence embeddings are similar in concept to token embeddings with a vocabulary of 2. 3. A positional embedding is added to each token to indicate its position in the sequence. The concept and implementation of positional embedding are presented in the Transformer paper. To predict if the second sentence is indeed connected to the first, the following steps are performed. 1. The entire input sequence goes through the Transformer model. 2. The output of the CLS token is transformed into a 2 by 1 shaped vector using a simple classification layer, learned matrices of weights and biases. 3. Calculating the probability of is next sequence with softmax. When training the BERT model, masked LM and next sentence prediction are trained together, with the goal of minimizing the combined loss function of the two strategies. What are the takeaways? Model size matters, even at huge scale. BERT underscore large, 
with 345 million parameters, is the largest model of its kind. It is demonstrably superior on small-scale tasks to BERT underscore base, which uses the same architecture with only 110 million parameters. With enough training data, more training steps equals equals higher accuracy. For instance, on the MNLI task, the BERT underscore base accuracy improves by 1% when trained on 1M steps, 128,000 words batch size, compared to 500,000 steps with the same batch size. BERT's bidirectional approach, MLM, converges slower than left-to-right approaches because only 15% of words are predicted in each batch, but bidirectional training still outperforms left-to-right training after a small number of pre-training steps. As a conclusion, BERT is undoubtedly a breakthrough in the use of machine learning for natural language processing. The fact that it's approachable and allows fast fine-tuning will likely allow a wide range of practical applications in the future. In this summary, we attempted to describe the main ideas of the paper while not drowning in excessive technical details. For those wishing for a deeper dive, we highly recommend reading the full article and ancillary articles referenced in it. Another useful reference is the BERT source code and models, which cover 103 languages and were generously released as open source by the research team.